BYU's Museum of Art has several family programs, and one in particular is quite popular. It's called Van Gogh to Play-Doh. BYU Weekly's Lillianne Cano tells us more about this activity and how it's built around toddlers. Finding an activity for toddlers that is not only fun, but also a learning experience can be hard to find. But the MOA designed the program Van Gogh to Play-Doh to do specifically just that. I think one of the things, one of the main missions of the Van Gogh to Play-Doh program is that families will come to the museum and feel comfortable here. I know for a lot of people the museum can kind of be an intimidating place. And we really want this to be a community location. So I really love the idea of parents coming with their, with their children and learning about art, not only viewing it, but also making it, and feeling comfortable and having fun and making memories together. Each month, Van Gogh to Play-Doh features a different art exhibit that is going on in the museum. So this month, we're going through the We Could Be Heroes exhibition. So it has superheroes and monsters. So we'll take the kids through and we look at two pieces, one about superheroes, um, and what about monsters? And we talk about how they can be superheroes in their own lives and doing heroic things and, um, and not to be a monster because monsters are grumpy and mean. Not only does the program try to make sure that children feel comfortable at the museum, they want to make sure they are actually learning about the art and what it means. Tying in their personal experiences and understanding of the world with the art. So we look at a photograph today of a mom dressed in a superhero costume. Well, all of these children understand the concept of mom, right, and talking about our mommies and how they help us and how they can be heroes to us. So after reading a story and talking more about the art, Chris Ann lets the children dress up or see and feel certain objects that relate to the art piece. And it's really hands-on. They, they talk about something on the picture and then they give it to them so they can hold it so it becomes more concrete. Um, so there's more of a connection with what they're seeing. After the toddlers go through the art exhibit here at the MOA, which this month it was the We Can Be Heroes exhibit, they come back to the art studio and make crafts that have to do with heroes and monsters. So they make things like this hero mask. Van Gogh to Play-Doh sets up three different art stations for the toddlers to stop at, and they all have to do with superheroes and monsters this month. They get to paint a monster and of course get to create their very own superhero gear. This program is so popular among the toddlers and parents for many reasons, but also because it is a fun learning experience that is free. It's great because it's all free, so parents love it because it's a good time for their kids and they can bring them and just have a great time, you know, and the kids love it too. They get really into our projects and a lot of fun. Parents have had a positive reaction to this hands-on experience their children can have here at Van Gogh to Play-Doh. And she, she really gets excited coming in and sitting down and talking about the art and she can really connect with it and then I think it's fun for her to come and do something similar. Well they really enjoy doing art projects and it's a great way to get them to be exposed to artwork that other people do as well as let them have a hands-on experience and uh, they love it. They look forward to when we get to come. To be able to participate with the Van Gogh to Play-Doh program just email moa underscore school family at byu.edu to register. Lillianne Cano, BYU Weekly.